Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I'm praying you through the Bible verse by verse. Happy last day of May. You've made it through. We've been going through 30 of the verses from Healing Every Day, which is my uh, 90-day devotional um, that will help you walk the healing path through the scriptures that God has given me. And let me just say, I love the, the Bible. I love the Word of God, and it has been such Um, a source of healing for me in many, many ways. I would just challenge you um, perhaps to do one of the things I did this year, which was to read the whole Bible in 66 days. And it was super fast. I couldn't um, pause on anything. I had to just keep going. But in doing so, I got to see the whole story of God. And in that, I got to see the redemption of God and the plan of God. And it was just so helpful to me. So you might consider it maybe in three months, maybe a year, but read through your whole Bible this year and begin to see the story arc of God. I think it will really bless you. Today's verse is 1 Samuel 12, 22 from the New American Standard, and it says this, For the Lord will not abandon his people on account of his great name, because the Lord has been pleased to make you a people for himself. Mind if I pray for you. Lord, thank you that you will not leave us, you will not forsake us, you will not abandon us. And for those of us who have experienced forsaking, for those of us who have experienced leaving, for those of us who have experienced abandoning on this earth, these are good words indeed. Um, I cannot flee from your presence. I could go to the very remotest parts of earth and you're going to be there. Um, In Psalm 139, you talk about that. No matter where I go, you're going to be with me. You will seek me out like the shepherd who chases the one after leaving the 99. You will not abandon me. Um, And the reason is because of your great name, your fame, your character, who you are in this world, because of your reputation, your reputation as one who comes alongside, because of that, you will not abandon your people. And so I pray for those today who have felt abandoned by others and by you. I pray that you would break through and you would show that you have not left them and you have not forsaken them. Lord, I pray that your presence would go with them. I pray you would speak and sing life over my friend today. They would hear your gentle whispers over them and they would find hope and peace and joy in your presence. Um, Thank you, Lord, for the latter part of this verse. You have been pleased to make a people for himself. We are your we are your people. We are the sheep of your pasture. We are your children. You have bought us with a price by the precious blood of the lamb. And now we have been adopted into your kingdom as the body of Christ. Um, I remember in a counseling session a, a, um, recently, a counselor asked me, well, who did you connect to as a child and who was there for you? And I came up blank. I, I couldn't think of anyone. But as I look back on my life, Lord, you were there and you were helping me even though it was unseen and I didn't recognize you and know what you were doing. You still were there. Even when I was utterly alone or I was being abused, um, you still were a part of my life. And I know that that brings up some conundrums of the question of, well, then why didn't God rescue me? And why didn't he take me out of that situation? And those are things I'm still holding in tension and I don't yet have the full answer to. I I could theologically answer that question about the problem of evil and all of that, but um, Lord, you are big enough to hold our questions. You're big enough to hold our frustrations and our confusion, and we don't have to have it all together to love you. We don't have to have it all together to um, bow down before you and worship you as the creator of the universe and the sacrificial God who laid his life down for his children. Um, We can still love you in the midst of the questions, so I pray you give us the power to do that today. Um, the power to know and the the choice to have faith to believe that you will not abandon us um, because of your great name, because of your great fame, because of your great reputation. We want to be a people for you, Lord. We want to be your special possession. We want to be able to climb up on the king's lap as a child, which no other child could ever do unless they were the king's child. And so we choose to do that today. Thank you for loving this beautiful audience of Pray Every Day listeners, Lord, and for coming alongside. We need you. We love you. We praise you. We worship you. We bow before you. We revere you. We um, honor your great name. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. If you want to support the podcast, you can go to patreon.com forward slash forward slash pray every day. Say that 10 times fast. And there's a level of just $1, which you could help $12 a year, which is awesome. $5, you'll get a painting. $10, your name will be on the wall of fame on every single post that goes out 365 days a year. Some people have their businesses on there. And then also the last one is a $20 level, which is a free secret podcast. And I would like to be able to transcribe these prayers um, so that they could also be on each and every um, one, which I think is fun. So um, I can't do that yet, but perhaps with a little more funding we can. In the meantime, have a great last day of May.